Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, uh, we are going to talk about the type of references in Java. So there are four types of uh, object references in Java, strong, soft, weak and phantom references. Uh, before uh, having look into this practical example, let's have a talk about the some me how memory management happens in Java. One of the beauty of the Java language is that it doesn't put a burden on memory management on the programmers. Java automatically manages the Java uh, memory on the behalf of programmers. Java programmers need not to worry about uh, free the memory after the objects are no more required. Garbage collector thread does this for you. This thread is responsible for cleaning out unwanted objects from the memory but you have no control over garbage collector thread you can't make it to run whenever you want right it is up to the jvm which decides when to run garbage collector thread but with the introduction of a few classes which belongs to the java.lang.ref package right uh, you have a phantom reference so uh, uh, soft reference, weak reference, right? So uh, with the help of these classes, you can have little control over when objects uh, will be garbage collected, right? So depending upon how objects are garbage collected, references to those objects in the J Java are grouped into four types and they are basically strong references, weak references, soft references, as well as phantom references right to understand uh, uh, i mean what's the uh, how we, uh, i mean how these references works in java i have created a four separate method and we have a main method over here and I just I, i'm trying to call every method from the main method but i added at one time i'm going to call only one method so first of all let's talk about the uh, strong references and here is the method it's a very simple method so here you can see i have a method and uh, there is a course snippet inside this so here i have created an object of employee so he, this is the employee class model class which is having two private fields public constructor and i have overridden testing method so here uh, basically uh, here we have just created an object of employee so here emp is the reference and this is the object which gets created in the uh, heap right so in heap we have a, a something is called eden space so this object gets created in the eden space of the heap memory right so basically when we talk about the strong references these type of references we use daily while writing the code right any object in the memory which has active strong references is not eligible for the garbage collection so if you look into the at this point of time this object is not eligible for the garbage connection because it has an active object which is assigned uh, which is going to refer by this reference variable right so for example you can see in this uh, b, uh, in this code snippet uh, reference variable emp is the strong reference which is pointing to the class employee type object at this point of time the object can't be garbage collected as it has a strong reference right now here what I have as uh, I have assigned a null value to this reference right basically we are nullifying this object. So if you make reference emp to point to null then object to which emp is pointing earlier will uh, become eligible for garbage collection because it will have no active references pointing to it. This object is most likely to be garbage collected when garbage collector decides to run right so that's all about the strong references i hope you understood what is a strong references in java now uh, let's move ahead and next references is called weak reference and this is the code snippet i have written over here so when we talk about the weak references uh, here uh, to create a weak reference java provides your class is called weak reference which belongs to the java.lang.ref package and here initially I have created an employee EMP and uh, I have created a, uh, a reference of weak reference and this object basically EMP is now I have 
uh, assigned to constructor of weak reference means this object is called referent object right which is going to refer by your weak reference so these two objects are basically a strong reference right emp and weak reference these two are a strong reference what we have discussed now what i am doing weak reference dot get so this will give me the employee object right now i am nullifying this object and calling just i am requesting to the garbage collector system dot gc and i am trying to print the value of the uh, weak reference again right after calling after nullifying this object and calling garbage collection so basically we are just requesting the garbage collector to collect this object because we have nullified right so when we talk about the weak references jvm ignores the weak references that means object which has only weak references are eligible for the garbage collection they are likely to be the garbage collected when jvm runs garbage collector thread jvm does not uh, uh, does not show any regard for weak references uh, you may think that what is the use of the creating weak references if they are ignored by the jvm use of weak references is that you can retrieve back and the uh, and the weakly referenced uh, referenced object if it is not yet removed from the memory this is done uh, by using get method of weak reference class which what we are doing over here it will return reference to the object if it is not removed from the memory right so uh, let's run this uh, method and let's see what value we are getting in this case so now here in first case uh, this is returning the employee object when you nullify and requesting the garbage collection that uh, object is basically garbage collected and that's what we are getting the null value over here then uh, uh, what's the huge case of weak reference so you might have heard about the weak hash map right so weak hash map basically uses uh, these references as a key in the map that's the one of the huge case now we have a third type of reference is called soft reference so let's try to understand how soft reference basically works in java so if you look into the method soft reference so here uh, basically i have created uh, an object of employee and object of uh, soft reference so these two objects are uh, basically these two references are uh, considered as a strong reference right and here i am calling soft reference dot get so this will print the employee uh, state and after that i am nullifying this object call, requesting the garbage collector and finally i am trying to print uh, print uh, i am calling a get method and, and just uh, we want to look what value is gets printed so when we talk about the soft references the objects which are softly referenced with will not be garbage collected even though uh, they are uh, available for garbage collection until jvm badly needs memory these objects will be uh, cleared from the memory uh, only if jvm runs out of the memory you can create a soft reference to an existing object by using a soft reference class what we have done over here right now uh, this code uh, you can understand here in this code example what we have done we have created our two strong references that is emp as well as soft reference uh, emp is pointing to a, a employee type object and uh, and soft reference is pointing to the uh, soft reference type object this soft reference type object is internally basically referring to the employee type object to which uh, emp is also pointing uh, when emp is made to point to uh, basically when emp is made to point to null object to which emp is pointing earlier becomes eligible for the garbage collection but it will the it will be a garbage collected only when jvm needs memory because it is softly referenced by a soft reference object so let's see what output we are getting so if i run this application then here uh, we have nullified this object which is basically internally referred by this soft reference and i'm requesting the garbage collection and again when we call a soft reference dot get then we are able to retype the object right so basically here jvm 
realizes that there are enough memory to keep this object into the memory keep this object into the memory and that's what jvm did not garbage collected this object even though we are requesting but if you if you keep creating the objects lot of re uh, soft references and whenever jvm realizes uh, uh, realizes these objects has to be garbage collected uh, i mean objects which is basically nullified that should be garbage collected and jvm will run out of memory then that object will be removed from the uh, memory in that case you may get the null value over here right so uh, so basically soft reference class is that you can retrieve back the object which has been softly referenced it will be done by using the get method what you have seen over here this uh, method returns reference to the object if object is not cleared from the memory if object is cleared from the memory it will return you null so that's what uh, we have a soft reference use case of soft reference is basically when you design a kind of me memory sensitive caches then soft reference may be used over there now finally we have a phantom references right that's the fourth one so we have a phantom reference so let's try to understand through a code snippet so here again i have created two strong references and employee and another reference uh, I have created a reference queue so basically reference queue is internally used by the your phantom reference type so here I have created uh, an object of phantom references basically pointing internally to this object and that is also holding the reference queue and here basically uh, when uh, here just I'm printing a statement phantom uh, reference uh, deleted and when you try to call this this guy will return you always null so now let's discuss about the phantom reference phantom references have two major differences from soft and weak references we can't get the referent of a phantom reference the referent when i say referent means i'm talking about this object right so the referent is never accessible directly through the api and this is why we need a reference queue to work with the work with this type of references the garbage collector adds a phantom reference to a reference queue so here you can see i am passing the reference queue so basically the garbage collector adds a phantom references to a queue a reference queue after the finalized finalized method of its uh, referent is executed it implies that the instance is still in the memory what are the huge cases of uh, phantom references there are two common huge cases uh, they there can be used the first technique is to determine when an object was removed from the memory which helps to uh, schedule memory sensitive task for example we can uh, wait for a large object to be removed before loading the another one the second uh, example you can say to avoid uh, using a uh, uh, finalize method and improve the finaliz finalization process right so that's all uh, we had uh, with res reference to how many types of uh, uh, object references exist in the java uh, i hope you enjoyed learning this video and uh, i hope uh, you would have uh, much more clarification on the uh, types of references in the uh, java after watching this video guys still if you have any questions any doubt or any uh, if you want any improvement in my youtube channel then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible guys so this code i am going to uh, check in on the github and github location and you may get from the video description part itself so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial